Okay, unfortunately I uh, lost all the video clips um, from the assembly of these air batteries. Um, but there's really nothing to them, so I'm just going to uh, use this light here that they're powering to illustrate how they're made. Um, this is a 3 inch by 10 inch carbon rod. And what I've done is I've put a layer between the carbon rod and the uh, magnesium ribbon. That layer in these batteries is just paper towel, just household paper towel. One layer thickness, it wraps around the carbon rod. I put masking tape in a couple places to hold it and then I start uh, wrapping on my magnesium ribbon. Now it's important to, uh, to make sure the magnesium ribbon never overlaps on itself. You want about an eighth inch gap between each uh, wind. If it touches itself, you won't get as uh, much current out of your air battery. Um, so yeah, you just start at the bottom, put some masking tape on to hold it, you work your way all the way up to the top, you exit the top terminal, that'll be your negative um, terminal. I've drilled into the center of the carbon rod and put a, uh, put a copper wire there to connect my uh, positive terminal. Now these will run uh, like my magnetic motor and stuff just straight off um, without doing anything to them but I've figured out a way to really activate these. What you do is you um, you mix uh, salt into water, boil the salt into some water and do an application on the paper towel of that and uh, that will really bring out the power in these cells. It doesn't seem to uh, destroy the magnesium ribbon at a, any rapid rate at all that I've noticed. But anyway, um, sorry that I lost the videos uh, as I built this. I had probably 10 minutes of, of good quality video showing how to build these and maybe I'll do it again but I don't want to take these apart to, uh, to illustrate that again. Now if you want to uh, keep these running at maximum power if you don't want them to just dry out and run it, I don't know how many milliamps these will run at uh, dry, but very adequate to run small motors and things. But if you want more power, put them in a lid. And you can put water or salt water in the base of this lid, and the paper towel will wick the moisture up through the, uh, the air battery. Run it at maximum power that way. So yeah, if you're wanting to run like a, a compact fluorescent light of a Jewel Thief or something that you really need a lot of current, uh, you can certainly keep these uh, moist uh, with a lid or something like this. You could also bury these in the ground. These would make great earth batteries. Um, and then you can just let them completely dry out. And if you have enough air humidity, like I have, you can run... Uh, I don't even think it would take that much air humidity, to tell you the truth. When you get the uh, salt on the paper towel between the magnesium ribbon and the carbon, it takes uh, very little humidity to run a motor continuously off of these. But um, right now, these are uh, each putting out about an amp and a half, 1,500 milliamps. They're not completely saturated, but they're not totally dry either. Um, you could keep them at this moisture saturation using a lid and the wicking action. But yeah, at, uh, so together I have, right now I think they're running about two and a half amps at about 1.7 volts. You can see that uh, just connected to this LED, I mean this is so bright you don't want to look at it. I can uh, shine it around the house here in the daylight and you see the hot spot. You could easily uh, take these uh, air cell batteries in this configuration and really do serious power um, with them. I'm to the point now where I just uh, am excited about building more of these and, and just, you know, <laughs> using them as as actual power sources of continuous constant power because they certainly uh, can produce it. So anyway, sorry I lost the build video. I think I've given you the information necessary to duplicate these. They are very easy to build. Uh, you shouldn't have any trouble. One roll of magnesium ribbon seems to cover a 10 inch by 3 inch uh, graphite rod just fine. This is medium grade graphite that means it's slightly porous, which I think is a good thing. I think that absorbs air humidity and moisture. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's that's it. Definitely build these things up. You'll find that they give a great source of uh, continuous power.